Hi, it's Rob Timmings from ECT for Health here, uh, here with another KYJ, Knowing Your Jargon. We're in the middle of a series on respiratory physiology, and this is part four of what, what will probably become more than an eight-part series. Um, we've had a request from uh, um, a viewer who wanted to uh, me to, to unpack or to understand what the ETCO2 means, what an end tidal CO2 value was. Um, more and more clinical units are recording ETCO2s even on patients who are not intubated and for that reason we're going to see more and more CO2 monitoring coming in. So what does it mean? Well, let's open up. First of all, let's understand the terminology. End means at the end and tidal means the breath. So if I breathe in, inspiration, and I breathe out, expiration, at the end of expiration could I measure the carbon dioxide in my breath? And the answer is yes, I can. So let's have a look at two scenarios here. We've got the air that you're breathing, the air, and we've got the air that you breathe out. So this is the air that you inspire, and this is the air that you expire. Let's look at these two. Alrighty, so the air that you inspire has an oxygen concentration of 21%. We covered that in our first video. It has a carbon dioxide of 0.03%. But the air that you breathe out, those values are different. Obviously, you're using oxygen and your body's making carbon dioxide. So when we breathe out, we're getting rid of carbon dioxide and what oxygen we didn't absorb from our breath that we just took. So I can measure the oxygen in the air that you breathe out, your expired air, to be approximately 15 to 18%. So the percentage of oxygen in the air that you're breathing out, about 15 to 18%. And these values are going to change depending on how much your, your need is. So if you just run up a flight of stairs, it's probably going to be closer to 15% because you'll use more of the oxygen from your breaths. But if you're sitting there resting or you're asleep, then the expired oxygen in the air that you're breathing out is probably going to be closer to the 18%. All in all, you can see that it's slightly less oxygen in the expired gas than what there is in your inspired air. We're using about, mm, about a quarter of all the oxygen that you breathe in. CO2 is very different. CO2 in the air that you're breathing out makes up around about 5 to six percent. So you can already see the dramatic difference between the carbon dioxide you breathed in at 0.03 percent and the carbon dioxide that you breathed out at five to six percent. Now when we calculate that into a pressure and end tidal at the end of expiration pressure of carbon dioxide and ETCO2 that value is the same as the amount of carbon dioxide that is in your arteries. And that pressure is called the PA, meaning the pressure of arterial carbon dioxide. That value is equivalent. It's 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. That suggests that the carbon dioxide concentration that's inside your alveoli is the same as the carbon dioxide concentration that's inside your arteries. So come across to this picture here. With this picture, blood that's coming into your lungs, this is your lung here, and blood that's going back to your left heart, that blood coming into your lungs has a concentration of carbon dioxide at approximately 50 millimetres of mercury. We've got a concentration of carbon dioxide sitting in your lungs at approximately 40 millimetres of mercury, which means that some of the carbon dioxide is going to be lost as the capillaries perfuse that lung tissue. Some of the carbon dioxide is lost, not all of it, because 
If we were to measure in this artery the pressure of arterial carbon dioxide, we would see that its value sits at around about 35 to 45 millimetres of mercury. The same concentration that was in the lungs that you've just breathed off. We're going to be then measuring the end tidal CO2 up here to be roughly the same as my PA CO2. 35 to 45 millimetres of mercury. And that would be considered to be normal. That's it for ETCO2. Any questions, please put them in the comments. I'd be very happy to address those. Uh, or come and have a look at our Facebook and ask questions on the Facebook. Uh, see you for episode five, our next episode. Bye, guys.